Aloha you beautiful people. I'm here in the sacred Waipua Valley. I used to live here for about eight months. Um, I was going to build a uh, healing yoga retreat center. It's always been my dream. Still going to do it one day when it's right, but I just wanted to share this beautiful little spot that I used to come down and collect fresh water. Um, so let me see how I'm going to switch this around. So I'm going to walk on this little path over here. So it's really sacred over here. Um, they actually closed the valley off for tourists because too many tourists were coming down and the energy is so much nicer. I mean, no offense to tourists, but um, it's just cleaner and it's just different. So no one's here, which is awesome. I love it. So there's this little spot over here. Um, it's a fresh water spring that comes straight from under the ground over here. And then this is where I'd be filling up my water. Um, and the water is so delicious, like really, really yummy over here. Mm. It doesn't get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen. And there's like banana trees, mountain apple trees, you name it. All these delicious fruit trees. So we'll go hiking and just pick fruit from the land and eat it. And, you know, having a really healthy, clean diet is optimum for our health and wellness. Um, my name is Satori and here I am in the beautiful Hawaii. Aloha. So here we have the uh, two 2,000 foot waterfalls and it's, uh, the Kikihi Lave. there's a lot of beautiful Hawaiian songs about these waterfalls and actually um, there's one on the left as well and it's a love story about two lovers um, and I think if I can remember right it's about two lovers and the one goes off to war and the other lover waits for her man to come back but he never comes back so the other water does, waterfall doesn't run it's just the one um sometimes if it rains a lot the other waterfall goes but it's really sacred women are forbidden to go back to this waterfall so understanding the energies of these sacred lands especially in hawaii and high vibe areas we always want to come from a space of respect especially respecting the local people and honoring the land. Um, so I actually came down today to do ceremony, just to give thanks and to give prayer. So down in the valley, it has a plethora of fruit trees, but one particular one I want to induce you to do, a fruit called the, um, the noni. All right, so I'm not gonna pick it up because it really smells like bad, but the noni um, has anti-cancer uh, fighting agents and what you can do is ferment them and then drink um, you know, the tincture. It looks like a brain. It's also really, really good for your brain um, functioning, for your memory. And you know, oh my gosh, some people just take it like that and eat it, but I can't get over the smell. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna take the Jeep for a little cruise over here. There's a special spot. I like to go do ceremony and uh, just give thanks for my life you know we've got to wake up every day being grateful for our lives and what we have uh, we have one life so there's this beautiful river we would actually take these uh, rafts and take the rafts all the way down to the ocean and it goes all the way down so beautiful i'm actually looking for the wild horses there's normally wild horses walking around here so back in the day um there are these little ponds over here, uh, but they're pretty deep. And what would happen is the sharks would actually swim in from the ocean. So the ocean is just a little bit to the right. And the sharks would come in and they'd breed and actually have their baby sharks over here. And then the babies would swim back into the ocean. So this used to be a really sacred uh, shark um, breeding area over here. Nothing to fear because they are our friends. So here's the wild horses. Oh, mitakiyase. Here we go. They're pretty tame. I'm going to come and look for some food. Oh my gosh, I just love these paint horses. They're beautiful. When I lived down here, there was a cute little paint that I took care of. The mother didn't want it, so I had to feed it. It was beautiful. You know, I grew up in Africa. And my late father was a specialized wildlife veterinarian. Cause, so I've always went out with him onto the field, helping with the rhinos and elephants and cheetahs. Anyway, so this is just another beautiful, beautiful day. Aho mitakia, so look how gorgeous she is. Looks like a woman. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, look 
cold. I want to snow out. Oh, me take a say. All right, here we are. Sacred Waipua Valley. Always come with the utmost humble respect for the sacred land. And she will give you magic and lots of treasures, spiritual treasures. Here I am at the uh, Waipio Black Sand Beach. And Waipio is just one of seven valleys. So back behind me, there are six other valleys. We got Wumanu, and then the last one is Kodalu, where you can go hiking. Uh, Waipio Valley is the only valley that's actually inhabited by, uh, by people, locals, and they grow taro down here. Um, taro, if you come to Hawaii, they make this poi out of it. It's very high in nutrition. Way back in the day when there was a famine, um, the people survived on eating taro and this poi because of all the high nutritional value. It doesn't taste like anything, but if you add some salt and spices, it's actually really delicious and tasty. Um, so I'm going to cross this river over here um, and then there's some sacred sites I'm going to go and do as I mentioned ceremony I give thanks every day we want to give thanks to mother nature to God for what we have and um, yeah so this is my little journey today I'm doing it solo I kind of like to do solo journeys and uh, another gorgeous day here in paradise Aloha We have a, a high concentration of energy. You can always see if there's a high concentration of energy because plants would kind of gather and grow really well there. So this is agave and you can see how beautiful long the stems are. And what happens when they're fully grown, it has these beautiful flowers on top. And you could actually make a didgeridoo, you know, that instrument that you blow and you make these beautiful sounds. So here's a nice little cluster of these gorgeous agave plants here in the valley into health and wellness and I eat very clean like to the best of my ability sometimes I have some cheese bus but um, so what I do is a snack food um, I make these you can see it it's like a dehydrated bananas so what I do is I, I take the apple bananas and then I uh, take um, coconut flakes and then I soak the coconut flakes in beet juice and maybe a little bit of honey and then I kind of dunk the bananas in there and then I dehydrate them so this is a great healthy healthy snack to take with you I kind of wrap it in a leaf and I kind of have it and munch it like a jerky but healthy healthy um, so yeah coming about health and wellness please make sure that whatever you put inside your body is of a high frequency and a high vibration don't put any of the GMO stuff in your body because it just creates so many issues um, but yeah, that's on a whole nother thing. I might start doing some videos on health and wellness and splash that in with real estate. So anyway, um, just taking a little break over here. I'm going to do a little meditation and munch on these bana bananas. They're so good. Bananas are high in potassium and totally delicious. I found a little spot here with the butterflies. It's like a fairy world down here. Anyway, okay. Eat healthy. Love ya.
one of the spots I love coming to when I go to White Pure Valley. They have this such a cute, and they started from nothing. This was all like made and created. They got like swings up here, so it's a fruit stand. Uh, they got swings. They got these cute little ducklings to play with. These beautiful flowers. Look how pretty they did it. Uh, so you got an ocean view. I'm gonna get myself a nice fresh coconut. I'm gonna show you over here. Um, they got all different kind of fruits you can choose from. Aloha. And I'll normally get a coconut. I'm gonna see if they have white pineapple. I love white pineapple. So this is a great little fruit stand. You can stop it. It's my favorite one along the way to Waipia Valley. And it's from their beautiful farm that they have right over here. And look at all this delicious fruit they have here. You can get smoothies, teas, things like that. There's a menu. I just love it. Dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, I love dragon fruit. We've got Ramatan, Lilikoi, star fruit. 